Hi, everybody. Um, well, first of all, we have 28,000 customers. Uh, 28,000 employees is a couple of years out. <laughs> No, uh, thank you so much for the introduction, Tony, and um, Tony hears all the good and all the bad on our good days and bad days at Generator, so thank you for the kind words, because I'm sure she's heard some frustrating moments as well, and we'll just leave those off the record. Um, but yeah, um, I'm Eric Cartel, I'm the COO of Uconnect, um, which runs online food ordering for local restaurants. Uh, the business was started uh, two and a half years ago by myself and my two roommates, uh, Matt Howard and Alex Weiler. And um, Matt is unfortunately actually out in California today, so he was unable to be here, but he wishes everybody a hello. So, um, what the three of us realized two and a half years ago is that although the internet has transformed nearly every aspect of our lives, the restaurant industry is largely unchanged from where it was in 1992, meaning absolutely nothing. Um, most restaurants actually do not have an online presence to speak of at all, and even the ones that do have the online presence, the Papa John's, the Domino's, the um, 100 largest chains in the country, 93% of orders placed to those restaurants are still placed offline. We're looking to change that. So there are 41 million Americans in 225 cities that basically don't have access to online food ordering right now, or at least very limited access. We are looking at that and saying, hey, this is a $23 billion a year industry, and if we're taking a commission on that of 10%, hypothetically, that's a $2.3 billion industry for facilitating this online food ordering. Um, we look no further, as college students ourselves, than to Madison, um, because I realized, as a guy who was ordering over the phone every single day, practically, from my sub place, that 25% of all fast food expenditures are coming from college students. Restaurants are looking for an online presence, but they don't have a guy sitting on a computer willing to make a website or who has the tools or experience to. So we are looking to fill that void. And in short, the race has only just begun, and um, there is just a wide open playing field in this industry. So come our solution, the U Order platform. What our company does is gives restaurants at this point four different means with which to accept orders online. Our first product um, is a consolidated food court. When you think about going to the mall, you look and you see that you have a Rocky Rococo's right next to a Potbelly Subs. What we're doing is bringing this concept online, listing all of the restaurants in an area on a um, single list. When you put in your address, you can see who delivers food to you, and then you can go ahead and place an order from that restaurant right on the website. About Three months ago now, we launched new product offerings being um, an API and a white label website. What this basically means is that now we are providing restaurants, the mom and pop shops who formerly didn't have a website at all, with the website, a website that also accepts online ordering, and then we'll still take commission on that. That's basically piggybacking on the brand equity of the restaurants themselves. For instance, uh, in Madison, I am a big fan of the restaurant AA China. If I, for whatever reason, was not familiar with the Badger Bites brand, I would still be looking to order online, and I would find the AA China website and order on it. So we're trying to fill that vacuum, which is also completely empty. For restaurants with existing websites, we give the ability to drop in online ordering in something that is easy enough that somebody with absolutely no technical background or experience needs to know how to do. Um, just to give a sense about these two new approaches, um, we um, piloted this um, about two months ago, and our revenues um, at this point are constituted 20% through this acquisition model, where basically we are just looking to the restaurants, and the restaurants themselves are attracting the business, and we're simply providing the technical infrastructure with which to accept orders. And finally, we provide mobile ordering um, in a very similar uh, basic platform to what you have on the digital food court. The upside of it is that we can generate a very large customer base, tons of restaurant relations, and um, basically, whenever somebody's ordering, they're going to be ordering from us, regardless of where they're ordering from. That's really what we're going for. So, uh, just to give um, some uh, basic milestones for where our company's at. Um, we've had the privilege of working with Generator, and um, well, I've been working with Joe Curtis and Generator for over a year now, um, and um, one year ago today, we were on one campus, and we were getting, I 
looking at this, about 250 orders a day, actually less than that, it was 187 is what I'm looking at. Um, we have since expanded to 12 more campuses, we're on 13 campuses now, launching actually four next week to be on 17, so I, some of our team is here right now and we're all working tirelessly and not sleeping a whole lot. Um, but um, we are goal, our goal is to be in 27 markets by the end of this year at 1,700 orders a day. And um, in this next month, we should be getting about 1,000 orders a day. So that's just going to be an absolutely um, fantastic experience as school starts back up. Um, right now, my business partner is out in California raising an investment. And um, anybody who's interested in becoming involved in the company in any capacity should talk to me afterwards. Um, we're looking for mentorship just as much as we are looking for capital. But our goal is to truly reinvent what it means to order from restaurants for delivery by putting them online. So here's basically where we're at right now. And really when you come down to it, there are two separate value propositions that a customer or, uh, that we are offering to two very different clients. Restaurants want more orders. That's what they're all about. And so what we are doing is telling a restaurant that you can list on our website and we'll increase your, your bottom line and we'll take a small enough commission on it and we will negotiate that, that it is mutually beneficial and that our business only grows if their business grows. If we're sucking the life out of their business, we personally are not growing anymore. It's not sustainable. We are looking at um, opening up sustainable revenue streams. To the customer, speaking as a college, well, recent college grad myself, um, I know what it's like to be at the library at 2 in the morning and want to order pizza, but it's completely silent, and I don't want to go look up a phone number, walk outside of the building, and go ahead and order. I just want the convenience of what the internet has brought us. And um, there's absolutely the demand for that. Um, the best statistic that I can offer is that in Madison, over 50% of the student body now uses our service. So, um, just a little bit of a comparison between us and some competition. There are a couple other companies that target the local space, some that even do online ordering, but nobody has the full coverage that we have. We have a rewards program, which is absolutely unique to ours. The restaurant endpoints, the ability to provide a restaurant with its own website, has a whole bunch of companies that do just that. And the food court idea has a couple companies that do just that. But nobody is covering all of the bases for a restaurant's identity. And also, nobody is targeting these college markets. They're all focused on New York, Los Angeles, um, Chicago. And we're looking at cities of about a million people. Milwaukee, or even smaller than that. Lexington, Kentucky, Tucson, Arizona. That's our bread and butter. The brilliant thing about that is that um, your average New York person, even though there are 8 million of them, I mean, my parents are from New York, and uh, they talk about the fact that they lived in New York, but they never talked to anybody on the subway. In fact, they, if you start talking to somebody on the subway, you get a glare. But these markets that we're going to are hyper-social, so we have this viral spread of our brand that allows us, in many cases, in our um, launches that we've already experienced, to acquire 1,000 new customers in the first week. So. Um, just a very brief kind of overview of who's behind this. Um, my name is Eric Martell. I'm the COO. Um, I just recently graduated from the University of Wisconsin with degrees in computer science and computer engineering. Um, my business partner, Matt, is the CEO. He graduated one year ago. He was our first time, full time employee. Um, and he is, as I mentioned, out in California right now. He um, got a degree in economics. And Alex Weiler um, is our CTO and has had stints at companies such as uh, Thomson Reuters and Facebook. So um, with that, um, I guess I thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you later on tonight.